be warned. I am telling you, if a man talks about another girl, not just once, but if he continues to like be like talk down and talk about another girl, he wants her. We are no longer in middle school. I don't like you so much that I pull your hair back. You don't like me enough to kick me in the shin. Grow ups. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Modern women having meltdown because men refuse to pay for them. Allow us to begin right away. This is embarrassing, but story time. Two weeks ago, I met a man on um, Facebook dating. We just started chatting and talking. We had a lot in common with music and things like that. He ended up like talking to me and we ended up getting along very well that I planned to hang out with him this weekend, okay? But he had told me he was going through some hard times and struggling times that he had been misplaced from his job, uh, got severance pay, but was like kind of in between jobs and going, which ain't a problem with me because I don't go after men for money. Like I have my own money. I don't have to worry about it. And he was just always, he looked and seemed like a good father. The only issue we had is that sometimes he could not like, um, like FaceTime me when I wanted him to, which should be, which was a red flag. And I brought it up many times, you guys. I did the work and I really did bring up every conflict that, or any kind of issue that I had. And he never had an issue with it. Well, he was supposed to come see me last night and I gave him gas money to come see me. $75 to be exact because he lives in Indianapolis, Indiana. And then he never talked to me again. Of course, he's going to say that he didn't come because I flipped out on him. Because after I knew what was about, you know, going down... The communication kind of ceased after I gave him the money. It was kind of like, yeah, he wasn't 100% sure what time he was coming. And he ends up never and just reading my messages and ghosting me. So if your name's Andrew Eaton from Indianapolis, Indiana, and or if y'all, if anybody knows him in that area, be careful. Like, I don't give a fuck about the money. It's the principal. Fuck your fuck the $75 because I done blocked him where he can't even send it back. If you need it that bad to lie to somebody, to make them think that you... Like, and I literally brought it up to this man a million times. Like, if you're not interested in something serious, you don't need to talk to me because that's what I'm interested in. Guys are now just plain scamming these modern women because they want a guy so badly, single moms will pay for him to come see them. Remember that she is a single mom and is getting money from a guy against his will through child support. That woman has been seeing another guy every month for 18 years and doing the same thing. Don't feel bad for single moms. This is a world for men. He's a sad bum if he can't make money and pay his own bills. He has no reason. Women should stay away from these jerks. Never give money to men. What a sorry jerk. Yes, if he's a talker like Tyrone, many women will not think he's a jerk because he's over six feet tall and seems like a player. Men are shit. Either that or the person was a woman. That's why many guys don't feel bad about ripping off these feminists. They should get the worst because they don't value men. So essentially all you're doing when you're manifesting is changing your beliefs about who you are and standing in those beliefs wholeheartedly. So if you want somebody, your SP or your specific person to obsess about you, you actually have to start to assume and honestly feel that within you that I am incredible. I am beautiful, I am gorgeous, whatever it is that resonates with you. Your inner world changes so much that your external reality, the people around you, everybody will reflect that, including your specific person. And the fact that all of you crazy people who are generating your single player are still single shows that your work is valid. It works if you're one of her. It's not even true to her what he says. She just wants to sell you lessons by getting you to manifest a man, man, your specific person, or whatever you want to call him. It's not going to make him like you more. What you think about the universe won't change his mind or will. Because you want something, you can change what other people want. Man dumped his girlfriend after she expected him to pay for her entire birthday dinner with all of her friends. He posted to Reddit explaining that he'd booked a table at a nice restaurant to celebrate his girlfriend's 24th birthday with some of her friends. He admitted to making quite a bit more money than his girlfriend covering the rent and utilities for their apartment. While at the restaurant, he noticed that his girlfriend and her friends were ordering some of the most expensive things on the menu. But he didn't think too much about it, figuring he would cover the cost of his and his girlfriend's meals while her friends paid for themselves. At the end 
end of the meal, the waiter asked him if he would like to split the bill, and he said yes. The bill came out to a total of $1,185. The faces of his girlfriend's friends dropped as soon as they realized they'd have to pay for their own meals. His girlfriend then gave him the silent treatment for a full week after her birthday. He assumed that him not paying might be the reason, but he refused to believe she would be that shallow. She did eventually tell him that he had embarrassed her by not paying for everyone. Because he was the man and because he organized the event, he was obliged to pay. But if his girlfriend expected him to pay for everyone, she should have made that clear beforehand. When he confronted her again about it, she told him that he needed to transfer the money that her friends had paid for their food, and then she would resume speaking to him. He broke up with her then and there. Just because one partner may earn more, traditionally take on certain roles, it doesn't mean they should automatically bear the financial burden of social events. Instead of assuming, financial expectations should always be discussed and mutually agreed upon. What do you think? Should the boyfriend have paid for the entire birthday meal? It's crazy that a used car costs costs $1,000. He didn't want to spend that much on her birthday, though. And you wonder why most of the debt in America is held by women. He was only seeing his girlfriend and not her friends. It's clear that most of these women see guys as loan sharks. I was glad he stood his ground, even though I think he wouldn't have been able to afford to if things got nasty. Let's be honest. A lot of Sims would have paid this because they thought they were balls but really they're suckers who are being bleed dry. It was also clear that his girlfriend or ex-girlfriend liked her shallow small friends more than he did. For many relationships with women today in the feminist West, this is also the case. It's not that the guy is the center of the girl's life. She sees him as someone who helps her and her friends. But don't forget that getting shit done is a workout. Grocery store, workout. Parenting, major workout. They call it running errands because you're literally running. Girls will be like, oh, I didn't work out today. I didn't go to the gym. Meanwhile... Their hold the entire day was a workout. They never stopped. Give yourself more credit. Thanks, Cookie, for everything. Nothing until you're too tired to do anything. Not even go grocery shopping. The best workout ever. From your house to your car, it only takes two meters. Park your car at the grocery store, then walk 20 meters more to get to the store, which is 50 meters away. I'm amazed that you can even get back home. You walked for about 150 days altogether. That's two calories. Guys, I just got back from a hinge date. Why am I doing this to myself? So we scheduled to go to dinner. We are sitting at the restaurant. Seems very nice. Not a catfish. Things are going well. And the waitress comes over. She wants to take her order. And I said, okay, I'm going to take the Bernzino. And he said, I'm going to take the burger. And the waitress asked him, Okay, how do you like your burger? He said, how he likes his burger. And do you want some cheese on your burger? And he asked, is this going to be extra? And she says, yes, it's $3 extra. And he said, okay, then never mind. Over there and I'm like, what the actual fuck? I'm like, okay, I'm hungry. I'm going to eat my Bernzino and see what happens. And he's like, oh my God, you have to pay extra for everything these days. And I'm like, yeah. New York City. So I got my Bernzino, he got his burger, we were eating. And once I was satisfied, I got up and I was like, I'm going to the restroom for a second. And I took my purse and I went to the waitress and I was like, hey, I just want to pay the bill. And I just paid the bill and walked out of the restaurant and I texted him. So I texted him, the check is taken care of, you should have gotten the cheese. And I blocked him. She did pay for his dinner, though. But $3 for extra cheese is silly. They probably used 5 cents square cheese that you can get at the store. That means he's smart. And sadly, this woman missed out on a guy who was good with money. Rich and not being careful with your money are not the same thing. The truth is that most women think a man being careless with his money means he's rich. But it's not true. He will not stay rich long enough if he tries to impress these women. Rich people usually don't mind spending a lot of money, but there needs to be enough value to make the cost worth it. It's not worth the money yet to buy a $500 Gucci white t-shirt. To look rich, a lot of Sims spend most of their check on one shirt. Click the like button to let people know you enjoyed the show. You'll know when I add new shots if you click the bell. Thanks for everything you've done. Do something right away. Come back to this page to see more videos of people hitting walls.